How are you guys doing? I'm sorry this video was not put out earlier. I have been very busy, but um, it's very long overdue and it's finally here. This video is going to be me explaining to you how to tell if a Louis Vuitton bag is authentic. This is a huge issue now with people all over the world. They're buying their bags, let's say, from eBay and they're not happy. They're not pleased. They're getting fake purses that are being described as authentic bags and the people are just, you know, the, the, the sellers are lying. They're selling them for a lot of money, get, making a lot of money on these fakes and we've had enough, right? We've all had enough of this and we are only going to buy authentics from now on, right? That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I have three bags here that I'm going to use as examples. They're all three of them are authentic. First off, I have this Louis Vuitton Damier tote. And the first thing you want to look at when you're looking at a purse is obviously the overall quality. Um, when you're in person with it, if you're at like a garage sale buying a bag or a thrift store or a secondhand shop, and you want to see if it's real, you just got to take a hold of it. And um, with practice, you will get better at this, I promise. But, um, I mean, a fake bag is going to feel cheap. It's not going to feel good. It's not going to have any structure. It's kind of going to be limp. It's not going to be, it won't have any weight to it. A Louis bag is going to be nice and sturdy, heavy. The leather is going to be good quality. The piping is always going to be perfectly made. There will never be a loose thread anywhere. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. Monogram bags, such as this. This is a monogram. And Damier bags. The interior will always be of a canvas, a canvas material. For Damier, it's always going to be a red canvas, as you can see here. Um, the interior, most of the time, will have a Louis Vuitton like maker's mark inside. It will usually be engraved onto the leather. Now, a good way to tell if it's not real is if it's kind of like if you run your fingers over it and it's not engraved and it's kind of like, like printed on and you could feel it like over the material. Let me show you an example. So for instance on this purse, but on the inside there, you see here, it has Louis Vuitton in here and it's engraved. If you run your fingers over it, like you, you can feel like it's an engravement. This is a great way to show that it's real. If you're buying a bag from online, you want to make sure there's like tons of pictures of it. You want to look at every single angle of the purse so you can see every little detail. A lot of times these people that are online, they'll have one picture and guess what? The picture that they have is not even the picture of the purse you're going to buy. It's a picture that they stole or took from the manufacturer's website. So um, this doesn't necessarily mean they're going to sell you a fake bag. It might just mean that they're not computer savvy and they didn't feel like taking a picture and uploading it and putting it in their ad. But what you want to do, you have to email that seller and you have to say, I'm very interested in this purse, but I need to be careful. I don't want to buy a fake. Can you guarantee that this bag is 100% real and can you send me a picture of the actual purse that you're selling because I know the picture on your ad is a picture that you took from the website, from the actual manufacturer's website and I want to see the actual purse I'm buying. And if you want to get really snippy with them, you can have them put like their username at the bottom with like a paper and showing that it's like really theirs but they don't, you don't have to do that. The serial number is so important. It's going to be like five digits or so. It starts with a letter. Sometimes it has two letters in the beginning, sometimes one. It's a date code. Um, how you read the date code, it's, it can be confusing kind of. But for instance, this one says S01001. The bag is made in 2001. So um, serial number is so important. Every single Louis has a serial number. And the only bags that don't have numbers that are authentic are bags from like 30 years ago. You know, that they just, I don't know why they didn't put them, but they didn't. Another way to tell if a bag is real is um, a lot of times you'll see the bag like with like plastic around the handles and no, that's not real. Louis Vuitton does not store their purses in plastic. They, there's no plastic on the handles. It's just, it's not. Another big, big indication is if there's like price tags like dangling from the handles, it's not good. Louis never has like price tags attached to here like if you go to the boutique if you've ever been to the boutique and you ask this, if you ask how much is this bag they go inside the purse they zip it open and they look inside the pocket and they take a little paper out like it's never attached to it like, with a like, plastic thing there's never plastic around here there's never a dangly ticket it's just it's not real but has that um i have here another speedy purse again as you can see the piping is like beautiful, no threads, 
hanging out, just great quality. Here you see the Louis Vuitton Makers mark and underneath it, it actually has a serial number. Underneath that, authentic Louis Vuitton bags will actually, the leather on the handles actually darkens throughout time. When you first buy a, a Louis Vuitton from the store brand new, the handles are very, very light beige leather. And as you wear them, the oils from your hands kind of rub off onto leather and it's just like a natural process and the leather darkens. I personally find the darker leather to be so beautiful and if you had bought a purse like maybe a year ago and used it every day and you're seeing the leather isn't turning dark and like the handles here are starting to like fall apart like the piping is starting to like maybe unravel whew, good sign that, that is not a real bag this bag is from the 80s and it's still in like I would say perfect condition perfect it's my mom's and I love it so cute but um I'm trying to think if there's anything else and you know, just to just to be safe, you want to buy a purse from someone that's oh, that's reputable. The seller should have, if not 100% feedback, very close to it. Um, definitely look at their feedback score and see if they had sold Louis Vuitton bags in the past. See if the customers were happy with, you know, what they purchased. I mean, you have to research it. You have to invest time. If you're going to buy a purse and you want to save the money, it's, it, it doesn't come free. It doesn't come cheap. I mean, maybe cheaper in price, but with time, you have to invest time, you have to ask questions, you have to make sure there's a return policy. Something really important to know is if you're purchasing something from online, try to use PayPal. PayPal is so safe. It's, it's helped me in the past many times. Buyer protection plan program. And um, let's say, for instance, you're, you bought a Louis and it wasn't real. You paid 500 bucks for it. Um, and you get it, you're bummed, you take it to the boutique to see if it's real, it's not real, you're like, oh man, I just lost $500, this fake piece of crap, I suck, this sucks, ugh, it's okay, and PayPal will get your money back for you, it's so cool, like, it like, it's magical, like, it goes in there, it like, takes your $500, and it puts it back in your bank account, like, it's so worth it, I recommend using PayPal for anything, and, um, I think that's it. Those are like all my little tips. If I can think of anything else, I will add it to like in writing underneath the video here. And also I just wanted to say if you guys have any questions at all, um, or if right now you're about to bid on an auction and you're just want someone's advice or an opinion or whatever like please feel free to send me a link through here or through the messages um, I'd be more than happy to help you. And again if you have like a specific question that I didn't address um, in this video, like, definitely ask me and I will do my best to answer it. I'm sure I'll have an answer because, like, I've been doing this forever and I just, like, I don't know, I was kind of rambling on and I think I forgot a lot of the things that I, I don't think I forgot anything, but if I did, let me know, ask me, um, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out and that's it. So, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to reading your comments and your questions and helping you guys out. Have a good day. Bye, you guys. Oh, and a little, um, just like something for me to tell you. My hands, they are a weird color because of stupid self-tanner. I will never do that again. Bye.